Recording it. Hello, mm -hmm. Nyan. How are you? I hope you're fine. How do you feel today? Very good. Sounds good. It sounds amazing. So I'm so glad to listen for you one more time. And I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you. Okay. And um, to talk about the previous class, can you tell me, all right, uh, what did you remember about our previous lesson? Previous lesson? Correct. Our last class. Nyan, can you give me one second before I ask you this? Allow me one second. Okay. Hello, Nyan, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so let's go back to our class, right? Can you please tell me what did we talk about in our previous lesson? Uh, we'll talk about messages. All right, messages, all right? And um, let me ask you something. What kind of messages, all right, can we send according to our previous class? Instruction message. <laughs> You, you mean, you meant, all right, are you meant to structure messages? Uh, the messages that we want other people to do something. All right, as you know, messages, they can be formal or informal, all right, depends on your intention, all right, what you're trying to communicate to somebody else. Let me just open the presentation, all right, of our previous lesson. Allow me just one quick second. So we are going to review the last class. Do let me know if you are able to see my screen. Okay, just one second. Okay, what about now? Can you see my screen? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's loading. Okay, I see it. Okay, um, can you see my screen now? Yes, I see it. Okay, nice. So, can you tell me? Let me show you this. So, in our previous class, we talk about messages. I write like when you write a letter, things like that, and all that. All right. So we also cover what is body language. You know, body language is the use and application of gestures. All right. Um, so when you when you use your your gestures, all right, for people to understand what you're trying to say, maybe you are angry. And your face is, looks like crampy. And because of this attitude and the gestures, you 
you show, all right? People can understand that you may be mad or you may be angry or something like that, all right? So, and we talk about this body language, all right? So do you still remember what is, what battle language is? Um, greeting. Uh, hello, kiss, hug, um, cross, uh, your arms, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so especially the greetings, like nodding. We also okay. talk about uh, depending on content, Depending on the different type of countries, all right, people. I, th I, th I think there is a background. There is a nice music over there. Um, uh, my uh, parents is uh, like, um, is in like, take some music. Give me a second. Okay, just let me know once you're ready. Okay, it's okay. Okay, let's go back. So, like I said before, depending on the country, uh, uh, depending on the country you are from or uh, your nationality, so people may, uh, you know, people may have different type of gradients. For example, in India, in India, uh, people note they have nodings, which is like uh, moving, turning around the head. So this is something that is part of their culture, uh, especially in some European countries, they kiss one side of a, two sides of a face, like this side and this one. Um, in Latin America, so they only use one side of a face. They only kiss one side of a face, all right? So in other countries and cultures, they may uh, give you a handshake, uh, in order to say, uh, you know, to express the greetings. And this is something that is related to, all right, the culture. So look at this. Today, we are going to start with the new lesson. So here it is. So we, um, we're going to be working with lesson 7B, all right, grammar. And um, we're gonna talk about, we are going to talk about the use of must, must not or mustn't, and need, all right? So let me just show you this. Oh, nice, look at that. This is a very nice country for Latin America. This country is well known by its gastronomy. Do you know that country? It's John. Um, no, what is it? Have you have you ever heard about this country? Mm, no. Okay, this one is very popular um, due to its gastronomy. This one is Peru. It's located in South America. Let's listen to this. What we are going to do our first activity is to read and listen to the test. And then once you pay attention, what you're gonna listen carefully, all right? To the information that you're going to listen in this audio file. Once you listen to this information, so you're going to do the following, all right? So you, you will choose the correct option. Look at that. Listen carefully the information. I don't want you to be confused. I, I don't want you to be confused. Lesson 7B, exercise one. Table manners around the world. Peru. You needn't worry because most of the table manners in Peru are the same as in Europe. But you mustn't put your hands under the table. Keep them on the table. You must wait until everyone has a drink before drinking. You must say buen provecho when you leave or join the table. It means enjoy your meal. Why okay. shall we wait until um, everyone has a drink before drinking? Like, 
everyone have a cup of water, then we can drink, right? Why, why we need to do that? Yeah, let me tell you something. Because the reason, the only reason that people do that is because of courtesy, you know? Uh, this is something we do in order for us to show that we are polite, all right? And it's kind of like in Japan, you know, in Japan, when you greet somebody or say hello somebody, what do they do? So they just bow to the other person, showing respect for the other ones. So sometimes we do that. We sometimes, if we are at certain place, we sometimes wait for the others to do it, all right? Maybe not because we want the people to say like, oh my God, I have the water here. Let me go take it. <laughs> do you understand? Yes. You just try to be a little bit polite, but you know, those are manners. You know what I mean? And like I said before, either manners, greetings, and all of these things, there is something that has to do with a, with the culture. So look at this one. Do you have any idea what that is? No, I don't this have, is no, precious. I have no idea. You have, okay, you have no clue whatsoever. So you have this word, this expression, buen probation. What? Do you know this? Uh, as, okay, let me show you. All right. So, buen provecho. Type it in the chat. I oh, don't yeah. know what does that mean? Th this, I don't know the meaning of I'm, word. I'm, I'm going to write it to you in the chat, but just be aware that this, this is not English. It's another language. Okay. Oh, that's another language, not English. That's not English. All right, let me just show you. So do you understand what does it mean? Yeah, absolutely. I have to understand that <laughs> in order for me to be able to teach you this. Look at this one proposition that is a Spanish expression that means enjoy, enjoy your meal. Like bon appetit, you're eating or somebody else is eating and you see this person eating, you say, oh, when provincial. So, but you know, we are talking about Peru, a South American country, well known by its gastronomy and rich culture. And not only in Peru, I think in many other countries in America, in the whole con America and the continent, all right? Um, they used to do that. If somebody's eating, Look at that. I don't know if maybe in the near future or in a far future, you may travel the world, maybe to North. Oh, that's too far in future. <laughs> Would you like to travel? No, I don't want to travel. I just want to stay home. Oh, you will only, okay. You want, you yeah, only want, want to stay at home, right? No, I, I want to make an adventure to the ocean to the deep ocean oh you want to explore the ocean and the universe too. oh the universe but maybe to do that all right you will need to travel anyway so and you, that is gonna be a good beginning for you <laughs> knowing some other countries okay let me just tell you so in many countries in latin america they use this expression when probation which is bon appetit, all right? Or enjoy your meal. So it's a way to show courtesy towards the other person, all right? Did you understand this? Yes. What is the meaning of the expression bon probation? Uh, enjoy your meal. Okay, which language? What? Which language? Uh, <laughs> okay, give me one second. I'm afraid I will need to connect my laptop because I have no more charge. Give me one second, all right? Uh, Latin American. Yeah, Latin American countries. Give me a second, real quick.
Can you hear me well? Okay. By the way, I'm now in an I'm, I am now in other country, which is next to Peru. I'm traveling now. I'm not in my country. Can you hear me well? Yes. What do you mean you are not are in your country? Uh, because yesterday I just came to this country. I'm on vacation. What is that name? What is it name? Actually, I am in South America. This country's name, the one I'm right now, I just came this afternoon to this country. I'm in Colombia. Colombia. All right. Wow. I'm, I just came today right now. I was first in Panama, and then I went to this country, Colombia, and then I'm going to be traveling to another country and then back to America. But let me just tell you, That's it's nice. Okay. I'm, I'm not going anywhere for two years. <laughs> really? Because of the pandemic? Yes, yeah, since the pandemic is uh, like staying with them. Let's for, get positive. Uh, all right, let's get positive that everything is going to change. Um, look at that. You know uh, what? That if if uh, they didn't have pandemic, so last summer, last last summer I got to Japan, and last and last summer I got to uh, Australia. But like, uh, I cannot travel to uh, that. To, to that things. Traveling is magical. It's something nice. I love that. So let's go back to the exercise so we can continue. Okay, so we're talking about Peru. You must or you needn't to worry because most of the tables, manners, manners, keywords, manners, in Peru are the same as in Europe. But what do you think is going to be the correct answer? Must or needn't? Needn't. Let's see. Needn't. Okay. You needn't or you mustn't put your hands under the table, then keep them on the table. What is the correct answer? Needn't or mustn't? Mustn't. Mustn't. All right. You must or you mustn't wait until everyone has a drink before drinking. You must. You must. Okay. You must or mustn't wait. Must. Must wait until everyone Have has a drink, before, drink drinking. before drinking. Which one? Must or mustn't? What? What, what is uh, your opinion? Must. Okay, so let's go ahead with the next one. You must or you mustn't say buen provecho. When you leave or join the table, it means enjoy your meal. Which one? Must or must. mustn't? Must. You must. You must. All right. So what is it? Uh, what is that phrase in, in English? Enjoy your meal. And how do you pronounce that? When professional. <laughs> oh, nice. You are doing this for a good. I love that. It's like you've been practicing this before, the way how you pronounce that. Can you repeat it one more time? Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Oh, it's like you have been taking like 25 classes of Spanish. It sounds so natural. All right. How many languages do you want to speak? Uh, I just know two languages. That's two, la English and two, English. two languages. Languages. Yeah, two languages. All right. Um, but 
how many, how many languages would you like to speak? One, two, three, four, five. How many? Three. Three. Okay, and these languages are? Japanese. Oh, Japanese. Okay. Kenji or Kirigana? Which of these languages? What? What kind of Japanese dialect? Kenji or Kirigana? Uh, Kenji. Oh, nice. So let's continue. So let's look at this, learn this box. Now let's go ahead with this, learn this box uh, in exercise number one. We are going to complete the rules, right? Uh, with must, mustn't, or needn't. So number one, all right, we used to express necessity, all right, to express. Do you know what means necess what necessity means? No, what does it mean? Necessity means need, the need of something. For example, now I want to, for example, for example, all right? So I want to take some water. What is the necessity thing? Yeah. Is that I'm gonna is tell it? you. I'm gonna tell you what necessity is. For example, I want to drink water. I'm thirsty, and I need to take some water. Then I am having the necessity, all right, of drinking water, because I have not drank water. So I am in need. I am in need of drinking water. So therefore, I am having a necessity. Do you understand that? Yes. Having a necessity is that is it, it means that you are in need of something in a specific, something in particular. Let's continue. All right, we used Mersen. must. All right, we use must to express necessity. Number two, we use Mersen. Is it? All right, M needn't. What needn't? And uh, needn't to express like lack of necessity something that isn't necessary finally number three we use mustn't right okay. to express prohibition prohibition all right which means something that is very important not to do Okay, so let's talk about this. This grammar is short. Let me ask you something. So here we have the form of must or mustn't, which is the negative. So in the same, uh, in the same, uh, which is the same for all persons, which means for the affirmative, for the negative, for the interrogative and the short answers. So in each of this category, what I want you to do is the following. So you're gonna tell me one example in each of these categories, all right? First one, affirmative. Affirmative, uh, example. I must go home. Okay, I must go home. I must go. I must go home. Right. Number two, negative. You must uh, tell me the truth. Okay, you must tell the truth. So that was affirmative, right? This one was affirmative. Now negative. Let me see. Um, you mustn't tell anybody, and you mustn't be late. Okay, you mustn't tell anybody and you mustn't be late. Okay, the full form of this, when you want to, if just in case you want to know what is the meaning of mustn't, actually it means must not. 
Understand that? Yes. If you are going to provide, uh, well, actually, a, a question with must, you may say it like this, like this one. Must you live so early? And then you have the short answer. Yes, I must. Understand? I so, understand. Something that is very important to tell you, Nian, that we do not often make questions with mass. It's not like so common. I'm not saying, disclaimer, I'm not saying that uh, asking questions with mass is incorrect. What I'm saying is that it's not very common. Got it? Got it. So look at that. Let's continue. Okay. So here's this exercise. Look at this. We're going to read the advice. Let me see if I have something that's short to show you. We're going to read the advice for the job interview. We are going to read, write the sentences using must, mustn't, okay, needn't. So listen carefully. It's necessary for you, it's necessary for you to shake hands with the interviewer. So what, what, what is going to be the answer? You must shake hands with the interviewer. Okay, you must shake hands with the interviewer. So number two, don't wear casual coats to an interview. You mustn't wear casual clothes to an interview. You mustn't wear casual clothes to an interview. Okay, so number three, it's necessary for you, okay? Arrive on time. It's necessary for you to arrive on time. Number four. Isn't it isn't necessary for you to give very long answers? You needn't. Okay. Uh, you needn't uh, to give a long and very long answer. Okay. You needn't give very good answers. So number five, don't fold your arms. You mustn't fold your arms. Okay, you mustn't fold your arms. Number six, it's necessary, okay? Number six, it's necessary for you to, okay, I'm sorry, it's necessary for you to look the interview the interviewer in the eye, like looking what the interviewer is looking. It's necessary, uh, um, you must look the interviewer in the eye. That is correct. You must look the interviewer in the eyes. So when somebody's interviewing you, it's very important. I'm saying this now, but maybe within seven years, you're going to look for a job. Okay, and because of this, you will need to know that. That's just an, that is just pretty much a tip. Number seven. You mustn't leave your phone, mobile phone switch on. You mustn't leave your mobile phone switched off. Oh, she's done. So look at this. Okay, don't leave your mobile phone switched on. Let's continue, number four. So here there is a writing exercise, but I'm afraid that we are going to, you know, modify, okay, the intention of this exercise so you can uh, do it on your own. So here you will need to write sentences about your school using must, mustn't, and needn't. So I want you to use phrases from the list below. 
Look at that. Can you see it? No. Okay, can you see it now? Check again the internet. Okay, can you please tell me the phrases? The the one you could, just to make sure that you are able to see the phrases. What is the first one? Copy. Uh, copy your friend's homework. Which is not valid. Okay, next uh, one. Run in the corridor. Okay, run in the corridor. And what is the next one? Switch. Switch off your mobile phone class. Okay. So, next one, which is what you're doing now? Study English. All right. And the next one? Uh, stand up when the teacher comes in. Okay. Stand up when the teacher comes in. And la last one? Wear the uniform. Wear the uniform. That's right. So now let's do the exercises. I want you to use the phrases below. Okay, with mass, mustn't, and needn't. Let me see how you do it. Mm, first one. You mustn't copy your friend's homework. Okay, you mustn't copy your friend's homework. Yeah, that's 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 very important. Okay, what about one with must? So, because I would like you to tell me the affirmative. What is corridor? Oh, corridor, for example, where you walk. So, uh, you're going to... You are in a, in a building, you're in a building. The building has some spaces through which people are going to pass around inside the building. And this is what we call a corridor, but also a corridor in other contexts, in other contexts. A cor corridor can also be like a way, maybe like a road, like an avenue. Okay. Understand. Um, so you next one. Let me see how you do it. You must uh, switch off your mobile phones in the class. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Needn't. Need study English. Okay. Can you can you use a phrase in context? You needn't study English. Okay. You needn't study English. Let me see. Kind of. Yeah, I'm just trying to check your answers. <laughs> the the sense of your answers. Exercise number five. How many more sentences? can you make about the rules in your school? Can you tell me some sentences? Uh, you must pay attention in the class. You must pay attention to the class. You must, you mustn't. Okay. Copying, copying, you mustn't copy your friend's answer in the test. Okay, you mustn't copy your friend's answers in the in the task, right? Yes. Okay, let me see the next one. You mustn't. You must wear a uniform in the class. Oh, that's already. Um, you um. You um. No more. Okay. 
Can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, so let's do this exercise. This is a complete the facts about the customs around the world with must, mustn't, and needn't. Let me see how you complete this exercise. That is exercise number six. Let's see. Listen carefully. Okay. Um, it, let me know when it's you ready. Okay, so. okay. In Britain, if you are invited for a meal somebody or somebody's home, you what that is? Must have a gift. Okay. Must have a gift. That is correct. It's very rude and not bring anything. So number two, in many parts of Asia, you 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 uh, you mustn't. Okay, you mustn't. Okay, in Saudi Arabia, you. Uh, you needn't use a knife or fork to eat. Okay, you needn't to use a knife and fork to eat. Okay, so number five, in many countries, you blank. You, mean, you must use, you mustn't use. Mustn't. You <laughs> mustn't use your fingers to beckon somebody is very rude. Number six, in most cultures, you, okay. What is that? You must be with you now. You mustn't, you mustn't. Yeah, let me see. Oh, you mustn't, good job. Mm. So yeah, let's see here. You must, you colloquial language. What does it mean? Sorry? What is coll colloquial language? It's the everyday language that people use, you know, with um, Sorry. You must, you uh, mustn't. Okay, you mustn't speak with food in your mouth, shadowing your food before saying, before, okay, before you start talking, or sometimes generally swallow for your, um, sometimes, let me read it again one more time, okay? I'm going to read it one more time. Okay, generally, you needn't use formal language in emails to friends. But in business emails, you mustn't use. Mustn't use colloquial language. What did I tell you that colloquial language is? Normal. Uh Everyday language. It's the everyday language. It's the language that is spoken every single day in the daily basis. Okay? So look at that. So for this one, is going to be a homework that I'm going to give you. I'm going to share that to you so, okay. that you so that you can help yourself. All right? You're going to make some notes. That is very important. All right? Especially for the... You know, the way how the sentences are going to be organized using must, mustn't, must, mustn't, and needn't. Okay? Nyan, can you, can, can you tell me what did we learn today in this class? Uh, we learned how to use must, mustn't, and needn't. We learned how to use must, mustn't, mustn't and needn't. And needn't. All right. Can you give me an example? Uh, you must arrive on time in the school. Fantastic. I'm gonna share the homework through Zalo. 
so that you may be able, let me see. Okay, this one. Okay. So allow me one second. That is just for me to be able to share your homework. Oh, I want to go to Colombia too. <laughs> so I'll be here for a few days and then I'll be going back to, uh, well, actually I'll be going to other countries. God what will. That? Okay, let me see if you receive it. Sorry, what is your question, Yan? Uh, what is your next country you are going to go? Oh, actually it was Panama. Canada. Uh, Panama. Panama, that's strange. I didn't yeah. hear. Before. Paraguay. Oh. Okay, I see it. Okay, amazing. So, Nyan, thank you so much for being active in the class. See you in the next class. And remember to study as much as you can. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, see you next.